Eat your vegetables, kids. Okay, so let's like do this. You know how some people use the excuse of drinking a lot like as a personality trait? Cause I don't. I mean, I have a personality. I just drink to get through this shit. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. So like, before we start, let's get this elephant out of the room. So my last video flopped. Like it flopped. Like it flopped. Like a fish out of water, except just like once and then dead, bitch. Like, it was a season. Like, I get it, too. Like, I'm not even mad about it. I just, like, I just want to state that I understand. It was a sponsored video. And when you do sponsored videos, you have to get, like, the video idea approved before you can actually film it. So when I wrote this idea, the next morning, after coming home from a music festival, I thought this was hilarious. It was also weirdly edited because there's restrictions, and I don't think Hollister is ever gonna come to me ever again. Thank you, though. Like, thank you so much for believing in me. <laughs> also, wasn't allowed to cuss in a video, so it was just like a bunch of uwus. If you watched the video, you understand what I'm talking about. Which a lot of you guys didn't, so I should probably, like, move on. So Pride Month is happening, or it was. Let's see when this video goes up. Right now, I am filming it at 4.30 on July 25th. I feel like I need to start every single one of my videos with when I'm filming it, just so you guys can, like, get on my shit. Just so I can be embarrassed if Suddenly a video takes me two weeks for goddamn no reason to upload. And all I'm doing is drawing Ellen. Cause apparently you're not allowed to cuss when it comes to sponsored videos. So you have to edit a video four times in a row. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. So Pride Month is happening. And or has happened. And the homophobes are upset about it. And today we're gonna talk about that. You know, like we're not gonna spend this video uplifting ourselves and talking about how prideful we should be to be who we are. Instead, we're gonna talk about the people that hate that. Apparently. If you guys don't know, Pride Month is an official month, at least in America. I don't know the rest of the world. Dedicated to the gays, basically. To the gays. I mean, gay as in like the umbrella term of like. Bitch, I just spilled all over my pants. The umbrella term of like everybody, not just like Tyler Oakley. It's a day to celebrate ourselves. A month, a month. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. 30 whole days of a lot of gay and rainbow colored logos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's his month. Did we expect this to be taken on by the media at such an alarming speed in the past three years? No. Are we happy about it? I mean, kind of, yeah. I mean, thanks for the support, bitch. But like, damn. Slow the hell down, you know? Sometimes. No, thank you. I do not want to buy rainbow colored condoms. That sounds dangerous. I don't know how the hell you colored it rainbow, but I don't know if I want that inside somebody. <laughs> so Pride Month is happening. Homophobes are mad about it. And today we're going to talk about the homophobes that are mad about it. Today we're going to react to it and talk about it and commentate hate on it. We're gonna conversate about it to the homophobes. Like, yo, what? what's up? Why you, what's, what's happening? Why you mad? So today we are reacting to anti-gay comments, videos, ads, posts about Pride Month because what, what the, the fuck? fuck? So I took Twitter ads and you guys sent me some of that good homophobic shit against Pride Month and you guys sent me some homophobic shit against Pride Month. Some of y'all sent me other homophobic shit against just like gays in general. You might slip some of those in. We don't know. Maybe I'm feeling a little frisky. What is never gonna do it on my phone? I used to do these on my laptop, but my laptop stopped doing video recording for some reason. I don't know. So now I do it on my phone. I could solve the problem by like buying a new laptop for work reasons. That's like so much money in work that I just don't want to do right now. I'll spend money to like live, you know, rent food. But then when it comes to like spending money on like buying a new chair because the one we have is broken, we can still sit in it, bitch. What the fuck you mean? It hasn't killed me yet. Whoopie dee scoop boop. So like the first thing I want to talk about, not really like super talk about it, but I just like, I have questions. I just like want to be answered. Veterans only get one day recognition each year, whereas gay people get an entire month. Gay pride month is honestly stupid AF. For our veterans, there's only two days out of the year we commemorate them. If anyone deserves a whole month, it's veterans. There is a gay pride month because they suffer so much. But only one day for 9-11, D-Day, veterans, Memorial Day, and Pearl Harbor. Okay, so. What? And second of all. What? Veterans Appreciation Month is in May, if anyone wanted that fact. But I think their appreciation for veterans is so strong that they glossed over that. I just wanted to attack some gays today. And the next thing, I don't know if I'm just like biased because I'm black and gay, but has anyone else noticed that people tend to only talk about veterans when they're attacking another group of people? 
specifically blacks and gays. I'm just, I'm biased. Like the Black Lives Matter movement, y'all remember that? When people came out of blue being like, what the veterans? It's like weird, it's like they weaponize veterans in order to try to minimize, marginalize people. That was a lot of words, I'm sorry. I've never heard a conversation where the term veterans were brought up in a light that wasn't like attacking something. You know what I mean? Especially like in the politics and the news. I've only ever heard them say the word veteran or mention veteran when they're trying to make somebody else look stupid. Like that, that to me is so upsetting. I'm not a veteran, so I can't like speak for them. But like at the same time, I wouldn't want that. Like I wouldn't want you using me to devalue other people. Like that's weird. Also, since when did veterans become like their own breed? Like people tend to act like veterans are just veterans. Like they don't do anything else but like be a veteran. Did you know that they're gay veterans? Holy shit, bitch. I don't want to blow your mind. They walk pride, too. Like, they have a float and everything. I'm sorry. There's also some black ones, too. I don't mean to cross that line for you as well. Hey, I'm black. No, you're not, bitch. You're a veteran. And I'm also gay. No, you're not, bitch. Shut the fuck up. You're a veteran. We want to appreciate you, but we can't because the gays are in the way. If you want to appreciate veterans, then appreciate veterans. There's nothing stopping you from appreciating veterans. Just don't only appreciate veterans when it comes to taking down other people. Maybe Maybe we should take the responsibility of Veterans Appreciation Month. Maybe we should do something about it. Apparently, these people that appreciate veterans so much don't do anything. All they do is yell at people about it. Like veterans, if y'all want a parade, bitch, if y'all want a music festival, we got you. We can do that for you. If y'all want to turn up with that appreciation, we can take that responsibility. Y'all want to step that month's pussy up? Y'all want these companies to make military-themed logos? We can try our best. You know, because it seems like these people wearing the same sunglasses, holding fishes in their profile, and waving Confederate flags like it's a trend. People think the only way to appreciate y'all is to scream in the face of other people that don't fit their outline. That's so sad to me. Like, that's so upsetting. This got like weirdly serious. Let me just. So we got that out of the way. Let's talk about something else. No matter how you color it, only one works. Oh no. Other holes exist, Jessica. I'm just guessing somebody named Jessica made this. Like nobody just has one hole. We all have at least like four or something. I don't know. Do we count the nostrils? Who? People that like make things like this. How do they think gay sex happens? Like, what do they think we do? Like, I've never just... And I don't even think most lesbians... You know what I mean? Poop! When you develop a mental disorder because you were sexually molested as a child, but don't want to admit that to anyone, so try the old my genetics bullshit. With a psychiatrist you visit every week, try to deal with the trauma of being fucked in the ass by daddy as a child. Knows the truth. And you can no longer look at yourself in the mirror without crying. So to ease the pain, you start sexually molesting the six-year-old boy next door. Spreading your mental disorder to the next generation. And then... A meme? What? I've never been to a psychiatrist or cry when I look at myself in a mirror, nor have I ever had a craving for six-year-old boys. So they'd probably be very upset if they met me. Poop fact! Gay liberals are treated far better on the streets of Birmingham, Alabama than Trump supporters are treated on the streets of San Francisco. Tell me again who the real bigots are. I don't know. Probably the people that support the idea of keeping another human being in a cage. That got very political, I'm so sorry. Poop, let's go into watching some videos, why don't we? So this guy's channel is called Educating Liberals. I just, go ahead. I just, I don't, okay, okay, okay. Give me another shot. I just find it so weird when like people's entire like branding or like existence online is just them just like attacking the other side, you know? Oh, I hate the conservatives. Oh, I'm gonna attack these liberals. Make an entire channel attacking. I'm just like, bitch, do you need a drink? You need some weed. You need to calm down. Cause you can't be having that much fun doing that. Like, come on, let's be honest. Go out, go dancing, go drink some water. Spending your entire like free time attacking another group of human beings just seems so Boring. I mean, I literally gained popularity on YouTube because I'm attacking other human. I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna stop talking. Is he a YouTuber? Please don't be a YouTuber. I just don't want him to be a YouTuber. I don't like reacting to like hate type videos from other YouTubers because they'll like want to like respond for clout reason and their ego. And I'm just like not about that. Drama is so exhausting. You know what I mean? Like it's great to watch. It's fun to watch. But I feel like if you're in the middle of that shit, I just. 
I'd rather nap. What's up, guys? Dylan Wheeler here from Educating Liberals. Okay, so first, I just want to point out that he's doing this video in front of a Trump 2020 flag. Definitely making this video for a certain group of people. I don't think I'm a part of it. And second of all, he's cute. Am I not allowed? As far as anybody who uses social media probably already knows because it's shoved down our throat so often. I could shove something else down your throat. That would, no, I'm not gonna say that. June is being recognized as gay pride month. But I'm gonna tell you why I strongly disagree with that. What an intro. He opened up, he said, hey, what's up? Said what he's gonna talk about and he's going straight into it. Unlike my bitch ass. My, oh, I need some watch time, so I'ma talk about Hollister real quick, bitch ass. My, oh, I'ma do this weird ass intro where there's multiple of me because I need people to laugh, bitch ass. Okay, let's go into let's it. Let's see, what is your name? You said it earlier, I just like wasn't, I was just looking at his eyes. <laughs> now before any of you social justice warriors out there go calling me a homophobe. Can I use that as a sound bite? <laughs> Just know that I have no problems with gay people or trans people. Never have. What about the lesbians? Oh, I just don't think there should be an entire month dedicated to who you sleep with. In fact, I don't think it should be anybody's damn business. Since when do we start celebrating sexual preferences as some sort of accomplishment to be proud of? Since there's literally countries where your sexual preference can lead to your death by the government? Since we live in a society, a world better yet, where the stigma behind the preference of who you sleep with is so strong that it can lead to people's suicide or people to be in so much denial to the point that they will hurt other people rather than accept their truth. You know that in this country alone, showing any sign of homosexual affection to anybody was against the law. To the point that even police officers will beat you up because of it. Holy shit. Right. In America and in a lot of other countries where there is a lot of progression. It's not just for that country. It's not just for those people. Pride is a symbol for everyone. If that makes sense. I don't even know. It's a symbol for those countries where you can't really express yourself fully without risking the idea of being killed. To even parts of this country where people cannot express themselves or tell people their preferences without risking physical harm to them. That it can get better. That there are people around them. There are people in this world that will support them no matter what. That there is a goal of acceptance that can be fought for. It is us telling the world, like you said, it shouldn't matter. Sadly, this world does not believe that. And because this world does not believe that, to the point that they would rather kill people, we have pride. That got very serious. Give me a sec. But for some reason, people on the left feel the need to shove their sexual orientations into your face every chance they can get. Because a bachelor doesn't exist. Or any rom-com. Or any movie or TV show. Or comic. That takes place in a high school where there is more than one gender. Okay. Oh, and they say it's out of inclusivity? How are you being inclusive when you're literally separating yourself by screaming and flaunting how gay you are? I didn't know it was being separate, man. Cool. Damn, I mean, I scream about being gay a lot in my pastime, if you haven't noticed. So you don't want me to scream that I'm gay? Great, noted. Can I still kiss a man in public or is that like still too far? Will you fight me, will you yell at me? Will you tell me you don't care what I do in my personal life, but you care what I do in my personal life, bitch. Like shit, I, I'm not making you look. I'm just gonna be here though, I'm not moving. You don't have to look, you don't have to listen. You can look away, you can tune us out. It's not my fault, I'm just loud, okay? Those are some of the most annoying people on this planet. The people who see everything through the lenses of their own sexual identity. Uh. Whatever happened to the simple philosophy of judging another person based on the content of their character? Have we ever done that? <laughs> Um, we live in a country where you used to judge someone based on the color of their fucking skin. The last time I checked black isn't part of my character as well. Some say I act the complete opposite of a stereotypical black man, but I say to that. Poop. Oh, and what would happen if we invented a straight white pride month? Would that be cool too? Let's talk about that. Straight pride. Wait a minute. Didn't that happen this year? Wasn't that a thing? I don't know. Did it happen? I never heard any updates. Straight white pride month. Why straight and white? We don't call it gay and black. You get an extra niche with that month. I mean, you can do it. Not many people will be happy about it. But you can try. But is there pride in being straight? Feeling or deep pressure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements. And last time I checked, I don't know, I'm biased, I'm gay. Straight people haven't really overcome or really achieved much 
in order to have pride. You know what I mean? There hasn't been many obstacles straight people have to gone through for being straight in order to receive an achievement to have pride in it. Were you killed in the street for being straight? Were you stoned to death for being straight? Are there multiple religions telling people that straight people are the devil? Are there multiple organizations built in the world off the purpose of making straight people feel like they shouldn't exist? Straight conversion therapy? Are people constantly trying to tell you there's something wrong with you mentally because you're straight? I mean, I don't know. I'm gay, so I'm biased. I'm not saying you should feel bad for being straight. No, God damn it. But I just feel like there is a difference. I don't know, maybe not. I'm biased. I'm gay, bitch. Did I mention that? I don't know if I screamed it in this video yet. Was that too serious? Okay, I think I'm done with him. I think I'm done. I mean, I'm not done looking at him, but I think I'm just like done. Am I allowed? Let's do like one more video. Why don't we do something positive real quick? Let's do Eugene's coming out video. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I can like fully show you that video or play like any of the music because I don't know the copyright laws behind of it. So I don't even know if I showed that. What should we do? Who's this? <laughs> Is he okay? Okay, one more. Let's do <laughs> you, whatever. I Why pride sucks. Okay, leftists have taken control. Leftists? What is left? Why are there so many names? Who are leftists? Who identifies as a leftist? Am I a leftist? Is that what I'm supposed to call myself? Is it a slur? I don't know the rules. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, you can be proud to get married and have a family. You know gays can do that. Two? What do they think we do? What do they think we're like fighting for? Just to suck dick? I mean, true? Science exists, bitch. It's done a lot of miraculous things. All you need is an egg and some sperm and a glass bowl, basically, when it comes to these scientists. We should also be okay with family pride. The family is the bedrock of Western civilization. We should celebrate it. Great, we do. Every day. 365 days a year. I mean, I wouldn't exist if someone tried to make a family. Let's let's be honest, you know? I wouldn't exist if like people didn't do some straight people shit, you know? We celebrate that, you know? I'm alive. Having a traditional family, it's always been celebrated. It has never not been celebrated. There has not been a single day in the history of like mankind where having a traditional family has been looked down upon. Suddenly people were like, hey, maybe we should also tell people that they can be proud in other things rather than traditional families. And suddenly everything got thrown out the water. Suddenly we hate traditional families now because you know, we wanna be happy being gay sometimes. Like when did it become like one or the other? Like why not both? You know there's a letter in LGBT plus for you know straight people. It's the A bitch. It's the first letter in the alphabet. Ally. We celebrate the straight people that accept us. We're not gonna put people that hate us into that cat. Like we can't do that. There's not gonna be a letter for people that hate us. Like, that's weird. We're Nazis yelling about wanting to be accepted into Jewish houses of worships? No, right? Poop, poop. Okay, I think I'm like done. <laughs> I think I'm tired. Before I go, here's some memes you guys sent me. Great. Pride isn't just like a bunch of people shoving their sexuality down people's throats. Pride is more like a demonstration to the world how our sexuality shouldn't matter. So we over push it because we live in a world where it apparently does. There are thousands of people being kicked out of their homes, living on the street and dying because of who they are. Which leads me into what I'm about to say next. If you guys haven't noticed, there might be a little donation button around me right now. I think it's below me. I am not fully certain. It might be next to me. It might be above. Most likely below because YouTube puts a lot of things below you now. We love a good bottom. I am going to use this time right now to ask you guys to please donate. All proceeds for the donation button go straight to the LA LGBT Center, who actually this year is celebrating their 50th anniversary of service, which is like amazing, actually. The Los Angeles LGBT Center offers multiple services from like housing, employment, to even medical for the LGBT in the Los Angeles area and surrounding areas, actually. I have worked with them before. Your donations to LGBT centers really do matter and really do make it change people's lives. Because of donations, they actually just open up an entire new center in LA. Because of your donations and because of your public support, there are now organizations, buildings, and groups dedicated to helping and changing the lives of people that really need it. That's why Pride Month still exists. Comment down below, do you like cheese? Also, tweet at me if you donated. Honestly, tweet at me, Instagram me. I might follow you. I might stalk you. I probably will definitely stalk you. Thank you guys so much for watching. My upstairs neighbors sound like they just did a bunch of crack cocaine or are now bouncing off the walls. So I'm gonna go. My name is Mac. And don't forget to floss. Bye!
This is the part where the ending music yes, plays. This is the part where the ending music plays. Play it, this is the part where the ending music yes. plays. This is the part where the ending music plays. Play this it. is the part where the ending music skirt, skirt. plays. This is the part. Bitch. Where the ending music plays.